So I'm going to tie another simple but effective pattern. Uh, this is a brassy, and I'm starting off with a uh, eighth inch gold tungsten bead with a size 10 scud hook, and I'm going to take my eighth uh, eight dot black thread and just get a couple of wraps started behind the bead head, and I can break that off. Now for the body of this fly, I'm going to use my medium copper wire and I like to tie in my copper body flies in a bobbin so I put it in a bobbin I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started just behind the bead head and to help that bead head get good and good and secure in there I'm gonna push that copper wire through and that'll help give me a spot to start building up a thread base so that bead head stays put. Then I'll just follow the contour of the hook and this is really important when you're tying, tying wired body flies to really follow that contour of the hook. Any deviation or any waves that you have with the copper wire underneath is going to get magnified when you start to wind this body up. So take nice even wraps all the way through Try to clean up any any high spots in this fly. And then when I'm happy with it, this isn't a necessary step, but I like to clear the deck. I'm going to take a couple of whip finishes just to give me some room to work here. I'll reattach that back on. But now I'm free to start to wrap this with the bobbin. So I'll draw up my copper and just start to make some nice even wraps all the way up the body. If you've seen these videos before, you know that when tying with a bobbin, you want to make sure that you adjust that pressure point every so often. It'll start to create a weakness in the wire, and you run the risk of breaking it off early. So I'll take this all the way up. Just to behind the bead head and then I can reattach my my thread break that off again then I can hold my my bobbin up and my wire and start to make a couple of tight wraps to get that secure and when I'm comfortable with it hold everything tight and just helicopter that off Take a couple of wraps over and a couple of wraps back. For the thorax of this fly, I use peacock curl. So I'm just going to get maybe two or three strands of peacock curl here. And I'll clean up the ends. Give me a good tie in point. So I'll tie in these ends again right behind the bead head. And I'll take my wraps back as far as I want my thorax to be wide. And then I can start to make my wraps. And then when it's as thick as I want it to be, I'll just make a couple of securing wraps, tie it all together with whip finishes, and then I'll clean everything up, take off the hurl, finish off the thread. I've seen the thorax tied with, with muskrat uh, fur, other types of dubbing material. I really like the, the peacock, either natural or uh, the ice dubbing. So that is a brassy.